I think one of the best pointers to the taste of the experience of enjoying God is the enjoyment of human people, people you know, people in your family, perhaps, or maybe that's not true, people outside your family. So here's, I want you to do a little thought experiment or do it later when you've got a quiet moment. Think of the kindest person you know. Think of the most loving person you know. I'm thinking human person now, just friends, family, or maybe musicians or artists or the most loving person, the wisest person you know, the most patient person you know, the most intelligent person you know, the the strongest person you know, the most tender-hearted person, the happiest person, the most peaceful person, the most optimistic person, the meekest person, the most courageous person, the most articulate person, the most, the one who has the best sense of humor, the most generous person. So think of all those people. And then, when you do that, combine them all into one person, all those traits. And then when you do that, increase those traits to perfection in quality. And then increase them to infinite beauty in how they are proportioned and exercised by that person. And then Let all that enjoyment of those persons with those excellencies raised to that perfection and that beauty give you a hint of what it is like to enjoy God as a person. And then pray that the Holy Spirit would grant that miracle to happen because none of you enjoys God without the miracle of the Holy Spirit. We are dead to those beauties in God and they are a foreign language to us.